you're sitting right next to a celebrity ship. Celebrity reflection. Come out, have coffee and breakfast. And here we are.
other churches here on the island, not the very oldest, but this church is more than 350 years old. I've been here for a long time, been to all of the weather, the hurricanes, the highways, etc. It is still here. Now, we still use this church for Sunday Mass and midweek services. We have done some repairs to the roof, changed all the doors and the windows, but the structure still remains the same. This is the St. John's Anglican Church. I call it yeah, yeah. Now it's time to relax. Once more, the choir, the hair. from the fort and they came to that church and I think you are aware that in the United Kingdom there's an so association with the Church of England and because they were British soldiers that name has been ascribed to that church up to today so it got that copied name because of those British So right there is the Sacred Heart Roman Catholic 17th century church. And as you can see, there's nothing modernly. The attitude and the mindset of the Catholic, they go there to worship whenever the opportunity presents itself for them to do so. The Paxton Medical Center. So the government in this time now, when the appointed time came, with the help of the Taiwanese government, they built that beautiful medical thousand of their reserves that they had. So they had the British subdued and subjected for almost a year. But the following year, in 1783, it was given back to the British when the Treaty of Versailles... You encounter other forts on your tour. And I know you, you will agree, because remember I said to you, all that work was done manually and not with the help of any mechanical machine. So that's why he took that. Man, who was his close friend? Was very close to him around his age group at the time. The name of one of those gentlemen, Michael Lambert, of whom it is said, up to today, this village that we are entering into at the moment, still goes by the name, Lambert's Village. And that estate on your extreme left, Lambert is still as governor. He used to ship back to Europe. Now, both of these gentlemen, it is said, they used to attend the worship services here at this, our oldest church building, which was built around 1624-26. So both used to attend worship services here. They died in 1648-49, respectively. 
And because of the friendship that they had while they were alive, even in death, they were not separated. But where those two little houses are, next to the east of those two tall palm trees there, beneath there lies the remains of Thomas Warner and Samuel Jefferson, who was globally known as the great, great, great grandfather of America's third president. Some about the year we might get at least five inches, six inches sometimes, but it boils down to three. So I refer to them as a family of three, the father, the mother, and the young babe. Now it, it is said it was the French who brought them here as their pets, mountain. But that is not the part that is of real concern to me. What is of real concern to me as a citizen of this beautiful country of ours is when I am told in no uncertain terms that the monkey population exceeds the human population. So it is said, it was recorded, analyzed and compiled, presented that there were more monkeys in existence at the time than humans. Well, with that established fact, who knows what might happen to us one of these days as a people we might wake up one day to an invasion where they decide to invade and take over and they are in the majority so they will surely win the encounter the land of their birth this church the Methodist church Ebenezer built in 1838 still going we are in old road now with the village which was the first town Right here on our right, there's a fisheries complex constructed in 1624. So where that fisheries complex is constructed, there it is said, there was where he had his official office. So the government built that fisheries complex on that same spot to keep the historical significance of that area ongoing. Spotnet, a business place here on your right, specializes in great seafood. So if you are a lover of seafood and you're here on our beautiful island and you just like to sample a bit of what we have to offer in that regard and you've been told, you know what, I'm going to take you to the Spotnet. You won't regret it because they are all experts there at what they do. Viola Mitchell. And right here, this river is called Bloody River, up to today. And that got its name way back in 1626. Now this is our oldest tree ahead of us, that I just told you about. Yes, and it's, as I said, if you know anything about Kauti, you know that mahogany is very tough. Bloody River because of what happened way back then in 1626. That so well guarded secret will be revealed. So I believe that is what so many people go there to hear about. And then when you've been taken to the top.